What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all having a great day today. Um, on today's video, what I want to do with you guys today is I want to sit down and go over something kind of unique and special. Uh, today's video is going to be on essentially my track day mission. Um, I've told uh, people for years basically that I'm uh, my track day situation is a little bit different from most. Um, a lot of people out there when they when they attend track days, they tend to just keep going back to the same one or two road courses. They're trying to get as fast as possible. Um, they just kind of keep going around and around and around. It is what it is. Um, when I started doing uh, track time in 2014, um, it was actually shortly after 14 when I started doing track time. I, I read a really cool article about a, um, another road racer who had been bitten by the bug. All right. The guy went out for his first track day um, next thing you know, it's one and then another and then another. And then you're, I mean, you're completely hooked and, and addicted is an understatement, you guys. Um, but in the article, the, uh, the, the person was basically describing that the, uh, the bug had bitten him and he started tracking here and then started tracking there and then moving around and going to different road courses. And he said, basically after about maybe, I don't know, five, six years, he'd hit, I think it was, he said every single road course in three States. And I remember as a, kind of as a newbie track guy, when I read that, I was so, I don't know, man, it just touched me. I was so inspired. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the only way to describe it. I was inspired. I said, you know what? I want to do that. That seems super cool. It seems like an adventure. Um, you're getting exposure to more, more road courses, more situations, um, different drivers. Um, you get to travel, <clears throat> which is also, that's always exciting too. I mean, half the, I don't want to say half the fun, but a lot of the fun is the journey, just kind of driving there and you're, ZL1 or whatever it is that you like to track, basically. Um, anyways, I read the article. I was super, super inspired. And I basically started my own track day mission, basically. So um, as, a, as a resident in Arizona, and I grew up in California, um, the three states, you know, next, next to me, basically, in Arizona, I've got California and I've got Nevada, all right? So in my mind, after reading the article and the, the individual in the article said, you know, that they were, uh, they'd hit every track in three states, um, you know, looking at the three states that, you know, that my state and the other two states next to me, I mean, I've got a lot of different options, especially being lucky enough to be next to California. I've got tons of options. So after uh, five years of tracking, it's been about eh, five and a half years, eh, a little, little less than five and a half years. But anyways, after about five years of, of road course time and doing all this track time, I've hit now out of the um, 17 road courses in three states, I've hit 15 out of the 17 road courses in three states. Now, um, even a couple of those or a few of those were even done in reverse or they were done in different configurations. Um, most road racers would consider that anybody, especially who's done any, uh, any road course in reverse, you know, it's a different course. Um, very different course actually. Anyway, so after about five years, and this is what I wanted to share with you guys in the videos, I wanted to share with you kind of what, what I did and where I went and kind of just the whole story. So I've been to Wild Horse Pass, East Track, Main Track. Um, there's a West Track. We've been to Mondo Bondo, which is a mixture of the, uh, of the uh, Wild Horse Pass course with the Bondurant School. Um, I've been lucky enough to, uh, to head out to uh, Las Vegas or Nevada, I should say. And the cool thing about Nevada, they don't have a lot of road courses, but they do have some nice ones. Um, I've been to Spring Mountain Motorsports Ranch, which is also home of the Ron Fellows um, Corvette Racing School. Um, it's not just Corvettes, it's any of the high, high-end um, uh, Chevrolet products like a CTSV, the Z06s, ZR1s, ZL1s. Um, if you buy one of those cars, a lot of times they'll invite you out to the school or you get a, you get a free weekend at the school where they kind of just teach you how to drive these 650 to 755 horsepower uh, monsters, basically. And they do take a little skill to learn. So anyways, been out to uh, uh, Spring Mountain Motorsports Ranch, which is in Pahrump in Nevada. And then I've also been to Las Vegas Motorsports um uh, I think it's, excuse me, Las Vegas Motor Speedway, excuse me. Now, Las Vegas Motor Speedway is also a cool track. Um, not a lot of elevation change, and it's kind of a slick track. You tend to slide ar ar around a little bit, but had some exposure to that. And that's what I'm going to get into at the end, you guys, when I get done with the list, is just kind of the exposure helps helps the driver grow, I think, basically, especially with different situations and different drivers. But um, so, again, we've been to Las Vegas Motor Speedway, Spring Mountain. Um, I've been to Chuck Walla now for moving to California. I've been to Chuck Walla. 
um, which is a great road course. Uh, the Thermal Club, which is an amazing road course, and it is a in a private road course is it, it's an understatement, you guys. It's the most exclusive road course on earth. Um, I believe there's only 100 members. Um, I think 87 or 83 of the slots are sold. You can imagine what it costs to become a member. I'm not a member. Um, Thermal Club is um, an extremely exclusive track, and to sell the existing 17 or 13 different uh, openings left they have in the membership. Um, they allow some of the exotic car clubs from um, from Beverly Hills and San Diego to attend. I snuck in with an exotic car club or registered with an exotic car club um, to get in there. So that was extremely lucky and that was like a shooting star kind of a thing. Um, anybody out there who tracks, especially if you track on the West Coast, you know Thermal Club is not, it's not, this, it's not for everybody to get in there. Um, so again, uh, starting off again with the California tracks, I've been to Chuckwalla, um, I've been to Thermal Club, um, Auto Club Speedway, uh, formerly known as, uh, I think it was Fontana or California Speedway in Fontana, I should say. Um, we've also been to Willow Springs, uh, Big Willow. We've been to Streets of Willow. Um, I've been to Laguna Seca. That was an awesome road course. Oh my God. I mean, it sounds cheesy to say just because of the corkscrew, but yes, I mean, it makes... It makes the trip worth it. I did 1,600 miles round trip to get to Laguna Seca, and I would do it again this weekend. Um, it was a great, great road course. Great road course. Um, after Laguna Seca, I did Sonoma Raceway. Also a great road course. Awesome elevation changes. After uh, Sonoma, I was lucky enough to uh, to get into another very exclusive private road course. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Here in Arizona, it's called Apex Motor Club. Um, the Apex Motor Club is a track, um, it's not, it's new as an understatement, you guys. It was built and completed in 2019. I think they're, they're, I think they literally cut the ribbon in February of 19 and they did their first uh, road course event in, uh, in May, like even for their members. I was lucky to get in shortly after that with a uh, charity event through Eventbrite. Um, it was for, um, I think it was for child help. It was an organization that helps, uh, helps to kind of just protect um, abused children and that kind of a thing. So um, whatever it takes for me, you guys, to get into every road course I can and to read, not even I can, my mission from day one is to hit every single road course in California, Nevada, and Arizona. So far, I've hit every single road course in the three states except for Thunder Hill and uh, Button Willow. Now, Thunder Hill, anybody who knows Thunder Hill, you guys, Thunder Hill is the most northern California racetrack that you can find period it's north of San Francisco for God's sakes and remember I'm coming from Arizona so um, I mean for me to get to uh, to to just to Sonoma and uh, Laguna Seca I mean we're talking anywhere between 777 miles 800 miles um, so for me to get to Thunder Hill it's going to be you know 800 miles plus um, I do tend to, to do my driving straight shot I don't mess around so um, I drive up the day before I stay in a hotel. I end up doing my track time and then I drive 10 and a half hours home. Um, it's kind of hardcore, but it's, it's, it's a track day, man. You're having fun with the car from minute. I mean, the minute it starts to the minute it ends, whether you're on the freeway or on a road, um, or you're on a road course, enjoying the car, you're going to have some fun basically. So it's, it's an adventure. And that's what I was saying too. It's the travel too. That makes some of the, that makes uh, the track days fun too. Um, now amongst all of the track time that I've done, you guys, and I have done quite a bit, I've done now, I think I believe it's 40, I want to say 41 track days on 17 different road courses across three States. There's only two left, which is Thunder Hill and Button Willow. Um, the, the, the highlights, um, as you kind of get better and you get faster and you get exposed to different drivers, that kind of thing, and your skill is getting better as a driver, you start to pick a, uh, pick up the pace. Um, I've been lucky enough to enter and, uh, and win first place in, in multiple time trials. And I'm not trying to brag, but, um, I ran a time trial at Las Vegas motor speedway and time trials, you guys, for anybody out there watching, who don't know, it's where we all rent, uh, transponders. This is usually in the advanced, uh, street class group or in the race car group. These are the two upper echelon groups. Um, and for anybody who's watching out there, any of the haters out there who always complain about my driving uh, without point buys, um, there are groups out there who do track time and motorsports without point buys. We're not, we're not all novices, bro. Okay, <laughs> these guys are hysterical. 
But uh, anyways, I was lucky enough to win a time trial at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Um, that was my first win. I was super, super excited. The second one, which I, to be honest, I feel like I'm even ultra proud of, uh, even more proud of, I should say, was my first place win at Auto Club Speedway. Anybody out there who tracks in California, you know Auto Club Speedway, especially if you track with pro autosports. Auto Club is pretty hardcore. It's a very, very unique uh, environment. Um, anybody out there who doesn't know you guys, Auto Club is, um, it's got a massive outfield section that they call the playground. It's, um, it, the, the straight allows the ZL1, my personal ZL1, to get up to almost 160 miles an hour before I enter turn one. So that's, it's pretty, it's pretty high, high speed. Um, the cool thing too is it's a total power track. So it allows us to really flex those big horsepower, those big horsepower cars can flex. They can, um, there's plenty of room to pass too because it's so many straights, but, the cool thing about my win at Auto Club, and this is what made me really proud, you guys, is I was um, in the group. We had a uh, Ferrari 458 Challenge GT3 car. Um, in the, uh, we also had, this was the big one, you guys. I had a 2019 Porsche GT3 RS. And, you ready for this? This is the good one. 2019 Corvette ZR1, 755 horsepower Corvette that was also wearing track wheels and slicks. And I beat their lap time. So, um... I was, I mean, talk about elated. I was, I mean, it was just uh, super, super exciting, basically, especially you guys, because I'm, I'm driving a daily driver and I'm on street tires. I doubt that, that either one of those guys daily, their uh, GT3 RS or the uh, 755 horsepower ZR1 on slicks, you know, that thing's not going to work. So um, I it was pretty, I was pretty proud of that. And I still am. Um, and like I said, the, the, um, the goal is basically just to kind of get exposure and to travel, have some fun. But uh, at the same time, I, I know uh, objectively, especially from the time trial competitions and stuff like that, I've definitely gotten faster. Um, and it's it's and like I said, I've had a great time. And when you when you get that when you get that time to uh, if you're lucky enough to have that kind of time to travel and to get exposed to those road courses, do it, do it, and do it now, you guys. Do do it now. It's another message in this in this video. Um, a lot of the guys out there, you know, they aspire to go to the track. They want to go to the track and, you know, I'll do it when I get older and I'm going to do it when the kids get a little older. Um, life happens, shit happens, things happen. You need to try and chase it now, chase it now when you're young. It takes, it takes a significant amount of energy, uh, planning, um, head work, um, money. I mean, they're definitely going to need some money. So I, I can understand some people wanting to hold off on it, but, but, um, Money comes and goes, man, and you can make the money again later. So do it now. Follow your dream now. I mean, I, I, this, 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 this path that I'm on, or this kind of mission that I've set myself on. I mean, it's something that I, I'll cherish for the rest of my life. Um, as somebody in the in the medical field, I mean, I've done a lot of time in school. Um, you get out of school, and what do you do? You just work. That's all you do. There's no more goals set. So uh, for me, it's it's kind of just a personal thing too. It's a personal goal that I set for myself, and it excites me. It's it's something to look forward to. It's something to work towards. Um, it's it's an amazing feeling. It's an amazing feeling, and that's something that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, and 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 because it's an amazing feeling, it's something I enjoy. Um, just the last thing I'll leave you guys with: I've shared this amazing feeling, <clears throat> and joy, and passion with even the people that I love. I have been on track uh, with my wife multiple times. Um, with my ISF and with the ZL1. Um, you guys can actually see one of the videos. I'll put a link in it at the bottom in the description where uh, I took my wife out to uh, Wild Horse Pass and she was screaming her head off in the car. And I think the video has like over 120,000 views or something like that. I think it's one of the most viewed uh, Camaro ZL1 track videos, period. And it's because she's screaming her head off. Um, I've been on track with my brother at Arizona Motorsports Park. We had the, uh, the displeasure of being kicked out or black flagged because the car is too loud. Um, so I owe my brother a track day, but we, uh, we, we did a session and a half, not even, we did two half sessions. First session, somebody dropped oil. Second session, uh, we got booted because of the, uh, we broke the sound uh, restriction, which was 96 decibels. The car's at 103 or 104. Um, I've also had the pleasure of, of, of taking my father-in-law out on track. So, uh, and, and that was in my ISF at Arizona Motorsports Park. So I've had the, 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 yeah, the joy of, of sharing that, 
uh, passion with with my family, and it's kind of cool. And I I brought my mom out to the track once. She didn't want to get in the car, uh, but she was more than willing to come out and kind of watch, which is exciting. You know, even as an adult male, man, you still get excited because your mom's out there watching. It's it's kind of funny, man, but it's the truth. Um, the thing that really tickled me, this was super cool, is that one time when uh, um, uh, my uh, when I brought my father-in-law out, my mother-in-law attended. She didn't want to get in the car, but she took a video of the kids rooting for me as I went by. And my God, my, what a great feeling. What a cool video. So again, it's something you can indulge in. Uh, and I would, I would advise you to do it now. And it's something that you can share with people and it's something unique and it's special. And I'm not saying that people out there have to track like I do, where it's, I'm doing seven, eight track events a year. But all I'm saying is if you find interest in that, do it now, chase your dream now. It's not, it's not, it's not going to be easy for you to get in and out of some low car when you're 66 and you got bad knees and a bad hip. All right. And you're, and you're just old and slow and fat basically here. Okay. So, um, chase, you know, chase those dreams. Like I said, I, I started out with a Lexus ISF four door luxury, you know, sports sedan. And now I'm driving one of the fastest American cars ever made. Um, so the addiction is real. Um, and it will, it will, uh, it will occupy you and it can kind of consume you. It'll definitely change your, uh, <laughs> what you like to do with your car. Let's put it that way. Once you start doing track days, car shows are a no, no, they just seem like boring as hell. Um, you, nobody wants to look at them. You just want to go out and drive them. But anyways, you guys, I just wanted to give you a little bit heads up on just kind of where I've been, my track day journey, um, and, and kind of where I'm headed. Like I said, I've got two more track days left uh, to complete every road course in the, uh, in the three states. And then what I'm planning to do is head to Texas. I want to head to Coda or Circuit of the Americas, um, which is an amazing, amazing road course. Um, absolutely insane. Uh, I, th I think recently I, I, saw, I saw a documentary on it on the Donut Channel on uh, on youtube and i think it would it cost 300 and uh 302 million dollars to build that place um absolutely amazing and anybody who's seen the photos there the way they paint the edges of the track the photos are just insane and the layout and the elevation changes the formula one track so absolutely amazing but anyways um the plan so far is to head to um we've got thunder hill we've got button willow and then on the circuit of the americas chasing that track day dream and then by then <clears throat> Most likely I'll have traded the uh, ZL1 in for the ZL1 1LE. And then who knows, basically back to the same old circle again. I'm going to start just heading to my favorite California tracks um, as opposed to shooting for every single one. There are some I like more than others. Um, and that's going to be a subject I'm going to do in another video another time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I uh, hope you guys are inspired maybe by the track day resume or you enjoyed kind of just the discussion of the journey. And I hope you guys are on your own journey. You guys take good care. We'll catch you guys on the next video. And thanks for watching. Do me a favor, you guys. If you like the video, go and hit that uh, like and subscribe button. Uh, just kind of keeps me going, making more videos. And uh, like I said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks again for watching you guys. You take care.